What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Another Monday and another player pack to go through. So this time we're taking a look at the Fans' Choice Italian League players. And we have a couple of good hidden gems in here. We have a couple of well-known names. And we also have a couple of busts as well, which I think are just, yeah, if you spin from... I don't know if this agent is worth clearing, lads. I mean, you can buy the standard versions of these cards and pretty much have a very solid base of card compared to these ones. You know, don't sometimes get distracted by the 96 overall or the 94 overall of a player. If the standard can get to 93, 94, um, or even 90 sometimes, it depends on how you train him up, right? But we do have 20 players. You can spin, as always, with the fan's choice. It seems that you can spin and clear the agent. So if you have 2,000 coins, you can open and get every single one of these. There is no duplicates, obviously. If you are a newcomer, I would say there's probably about six players in here that we're going to take a little bit of an extended look at. But the rest of the players, you know, I don't think are really worth it. I mean, yeah, I mean, you will be getting good versions of these players, and you won't have to worry about content contracts you won't have to worry about them carrying over you won't have to worry about any of that stuff uh if you do get these players you know but i do think that the young stars and the asian selection were actually better the asia stars were were quite good um so i mean starting from these five these six here at the back right yes there is some good players here i mean this guy murillo is probably the pick of the six here if we just break it down into splits um he's a very good player man i mean you always look at two things with a center back right Number one is, does he have player skills that match how he's going to play on the pitch, right? So he's a destroyer, so he needs man marking, blocker, and heading, I would say, as well as fighting spirit. He has all of these things. He doesn't have interception, but that's not a huge deal for this card, in my opinion, because he's very fast, very mobile, and very versatile at the back. I mean, if you look at just this base version of him here, you've got 83 awareness, but you've got 92 tackle, and 96 aggression, and 93 engagement. I've said this before. Usually destroyer play style uh, center backs compared to build up or compared to extra front man or anything like that. They're going to be very aggressive, right? And they're also going to have a bit more acceleration and speed than your traditional center back such as Van Dyke or somebody like Thiago Silva or somebody like that, right? So this is the best version that they have released uh, before of him. This is his other version, his standard version. It only goes 36 levels, but he's only level 70. This guy goes... Uh, uh, 33 levels but he starts at a level 77 so it's pretty decent card i mean that's what you're going to be looking for in a hidden gem i mean because he's got 96 aggression 75 acceleration 89 jump and 75 header with aerial superiority heading man marking blocker sliding tackle acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit so very solid card i actually think he's he's probably one of the best cards um that they have released as kind of like a hidden gem in the last couple of weeks so he's definitely one to look at if you do spin him if you're in the pursuit of somebody and you get him um then you know he's not going to be bad i mean Sharishes, this guy Sharikes, is it Sharikes or Sharishes? Sharishes. Sharishes. Um, this guy's got brilliant player skills as well. He's got unwavering form, but he's more of a traditional center back. He's got build up play style. He's not going to be as aggressive. Uh, he has got 36 levels to go, but his speed and acceleration are going to let him down just slightly. I mean, I still think any of these cards that they're releasing now are, they're viable. You know, they are viable. And especially for this guy, um, height wise, he is that little bit taller. He does have some extra player levels that you can go. And I mean, if we were to do a real time training on him, I mean, if you pump, if you pump 15 into that, you're going to get all the stats to a similar level as to where you need it. The biggest thing is if you are used to playing with a little bit more fast center backs, you are going to have to pump in 12 to get his acceleration up. And that leaves his aerial strength just a fraction down. So I would use him as your more traditional center back. Uh, I wouldn't really worry too much about his actual pace and strength um, off the ball. It would be more defensive capabilities on the ball. So, you know, dexterity and lower body strength, I'd probably leave that. And then we'd probably focus a little bit on this, right? So we can give that goalkeeper uh, a couple there, that stat, and then you can pump in the rest into that if you wanted to have a very solid player. I mean, physically, he's not going to be as dominant in the air with the jump and stuff. But again, he's going to be a good player if you are looking for somebody a little bit different off the beaten track. I mean, look, I haven't really... These guys, let's depending on your journey, right? If you are starting off, any of these guys are going to be an improvement on what you have. You know, once they have pretty decent player skills this guy doesn't really have any center back skills but he's a good left back right and this guy here as well Marin, he's not a bad player either he's just a little bit slow for that orchestrator role and he's lacking a couple of key stats and skills but still a very fine player to have bastoni a lot of people talking about him um i don't really you know think 
this guy is is going to be a card that is used that often. I mean, 39 levels, yes, it's good. But, you know, you need a player that excels in a couple of positions. Velosa would be a nice little sit in DMF. He's able to pass. He's able to uh, dribble. He's able to, you know, be aggressive enough when he has the ball or when he doesn't have the ball. Arnautovic and Kandreva are in a similar position. I mean, this guy is not going to be able to really lead the line for you. Excellent super or excellent uh, player skills, penalty specialist. He doesn't have super sub. He does have unwavering form. Not a bad option either. And then Kandreva. I always remember playing with Kandreva back in Master League. He was a really good boy to get. Uh, unwavering form, as a lot of these older players have. They're tried and tested. Pinpoint cross and fighting spirit. Knuckle shot, dip and shot, rising shot. So if you don't shoot a lot, you don't cross a lot, this guy as a cross specialist with early crosser and pinpoint crossing is going to be wasted on you. So a lot of it is down to personal preference, lads, and what kind of play style that you play. So don't, don't, don't forget that when you are in pursuit of a couple of these players, right? The next four guys here, I would say that Luis Alberto is probably the key here. Any of these guys that have 80 base stats with 30 levels plus are going to go into the 90 zone um, with, with you know, acceleration and stuff. Um, so I do think that he's quite fast, this guy, but there's just so many good wingers that you can get. This guy doesn't have double touch or one touch pass. He doesn't have... Um, the chop turn or heel trick or any of those he does have track back and fighting spirit so he's a bit more defensive if you wanted to use him there i would use him right mid and have him as part of a you know a three five two similar to how i use lorente um to be able to slot back there and then sensi this guy is another orchestrator another standard card lads just a general standard card not to really shout home about in my opinion and delafeo again as a center forward good speed good dribbling good balance good everything really with 32 levels to go and i think he has unwavering no he doesn't have unwavering but he does have super sub double touch and of course he does have chip shot control long range curler and he also has pinpoint crosser and early crosser. You could play him on the left wing if you wanted to. And then, you know, kind of like have him as a deep line forward if you needed to have a sub tactic. So there's always ways around getting the best out of these cards, right? Now, Luis Alberto, lads, and as we go up the line here, right, I'll go through these a little bit quicker. Luis Alberto is an absolute beast, lads. I mean, his stats are insane, right? Firstly, he's got unwavering form. He's also got double touch, one touch pass, soul control, so he can do all the special moves, all the animations that are going to be unlocked for him. He's a classic number 10, which does take a little bit of getting used to, but he can become a monster, right? So when we take a look at his stats here, you're going to have stats like, you know, ball control, dribbling in a tight possession into the 90s, low pass and lofted into the 90s when his player form arrow was up, kicking power into the 90 when your player form was up, and balance into the 90 when your player form is up, right? Even if you don't have the player form up, I've maxed out his, his dribbling a little bit too much. You probably don't even need to go with that. I would say once 91 dribbling, uh, 93 ball control, then you can pop the passing up if you want to be guaranteed to pass into the 90s. Um, you can also put that into dexterity. We're not training up his acceleration. We want the balance because for a player like this, this is going to be key to him. It's going to be like Iniesta Pedri style with the high balance. So very solid player as well. And then also on top of that, we've got this guy and De Maria and Tammy Abraham, who will make a difference in your squad if you're looking for them in any position here. So you've got a couple of good stats, but you've got a couple of bad player skills. Very, very aggressive, all-rounder. He's got really nice player level, 31 to go. A very good box-to-box. -box. I will be doing training guides on all of these, so if you think I'm rushing through it, apologies, but I will get back to it. Lookman, Berardi, and Demaria. I mean, very solid as well. Demaria is definitely a hidden gem in the game, lads. He is an absolute beast on the ball. Can play in the perfect H, H formation as I love there. And I think he is an absolute beast. Berardi is similar, right? He's not as good as Demaria, but he is a prolific winger. He just doesn't have that blistering pace that some of the best wingers in the game have. But he is still very, very solid. And Lookman, I would probably look at him, pardon the pun, even though he's a whole player, right, I would probably use him as a right winger with the pace, the power, the speed, and the finishing that you can train him up quite well. He's got 33 levels to go. He's got excellent player skills. The only thing he's really missing is one-touch pass, but he's got super sub, double-touch, long-range curler, shooting, gamesmanship, chop turn, Marseille turn, everything that you could possibly want in a very exciting player there. And then last but not least, we have these four boys here. I mean, we know about Ashi. You know what you're getting with Ashi, Abraham, Martinez, and Fernandez. I will get a training guide on Hernandez probably first and then go from there. There's just a quick look at Berardi. He goes to a 94 overall. De Maria, we, when we train him up, you can put De Maria into a lot of different positions and a lot of different areas. If you want to use him as a crosser, you know, you can max out his lofted cross. You can still have, you know, 88 
uh, dexterity or around that and still have a bit of stamina to get up and down the wing if you want to. And that's not even the best version of him. We will do a training guide and have two different versions of him. We have Berardi there. We also have Tammy Abraham if we're going to be training him up. You know what you're going to get with him. You know, you're going to get your 88 shooting. You're also going to get dribbling into the 80 and you're going to get like really high offensive awareness with acceleration for a player that can cause a bit of drama up front because he's so tall, right? We also have Hernandez. I really like Hernandez. I would probably play him as a left back now more than a center back. I know people, he can't play center back, but some people still play him in that role as a defender. I would probably just max out his, um, his, you know, speed, his power, his stamina, and just have him really as a, like, Roberto Carlos type figure up the left, right? Then we also have Martinez. Martinez, to me, lads, is like Romario. He's as close to Romario as you're going to get. You know, you can get the shooting very quickly up to eight, 88. Then you also, you don't need to pass him, but the dribbling can go into the 80 zone. You can get the dexterity. Again, we're not really looking for acceleration here on this card. We're more so looking for... um you know, we're more so looking for the balance to get him, get it up a bit there. You can pop two in there if you want, but I would probably just throw one more into the speed. Very, very strong card. And then Oshiman, we've had multiple versions of Oshi, lads. I, I don't really rate him, to be honest with you now. Let me know in the comments below. I will do a training guide on him. There is kind of a, a version of him that I think is the best as we just give a, a kind of a brief run over it here. But I think he's a very hard player to kind of play with. He's not kind of run and gun, and he's not extremely dominant in the air. So he does remind me of Cristiano Ronaldo, that he can score from anywhere, especially when you get you know used to playing with him. But I do think that he is a more difficult player to play with. So for me, the picks of him would be Oshi, Martinez, Berardi, Alberto. I would probably say De Maria and Hernandez. And then I would probably throw in Murillo at the end as well, who I think is a beast. So yeah, we will see who we get when we are live streaming later. I hope you guys can join me. But until then, I will talk to you in a bit and we will talk to you then. Peace.